Hey, what's going on guys? Today I did the unthinkable and I got 100% completion on the Super Auto Pets achievements. Obviously, there's one more to go. Starts with SL, Sloth, but other than that, we got all the hidden achievements and I kind of want to show you guys how I did that and like so you, if you guys want to do that. One thing about me, if I really enjoy something I'm probably just gonna no life it until I complete it and Super Auto Pets is one of those games that I really enjoy playing and luckily the golden pack is right around the corner so once uh, that drops I'll go ahead and uh, get back on top of it and try to get those achievements out and now that I got my OBS fixed and everything we can get those videos recorded and stuff but it's a matter of just going in uh, a lot of the times you can play the weekly pack if you just learn the weekly pack of what it is what strats are there are you can go ahead and kind of get good pairings to get easy achievements and everything one of the packs I use is uh, one of my custom packs I just recently started using it once I got to about like 30 pets left um, you can kind of pick your tier ones through three four get you like set up and then there's some in five and six that can help you just get anything pretty much uh level three and win with it so like uh, my tier one pets they're all just kind of what i'm gonna help transition into like i like using the pig and chinchilla for gold and like selling the mouse uh for an apple to help me with when i get down to my tier three pets tier two pets i like to use is flamingo using uh the pill to basically Take advantage of that getting some health early on jellyfish is good when you're leveling up and everything uh, the spiders are really good one when you pill and um, basically can get an early tier three swan obviously with the gold and everything and then if you want to take a risk and get a level three stork and pill it uh, with whatever tier you're trying to get uh, that's pretty good too and then the other ones are just kind of filler pets as well and then um with the tier three pets i kind of try to go for a little bit of scaling so hatching chick getting that to level two is a really good good thing to do blobfish pilling that onto any of the pets uh, that can help snail lo uh, losing can kind of help and clownfish getting health to those level up pets and then tamarind transitioning out of it so tier three pets are kind of just mostly used for scaling and then tier four pets you can take advantage of using the bison if you get an early tier three penguin that's also good for basically any level twos you got you can scale them up skunk op always use that if you need it uh pilling a turtle early on getting that melon uh, crow to kind of give you that XP if you need to get to level three and then this uh, these two are just for scaling and Kind of attack and everything and then my my foods and everything. I didn't really mention them uh, You can copy those that's kind of pick and choose what you want to do I kind of go for scaling options as well on that and then cow I love the cow that's always good to use by get some or, or good health and attack out of that monkey is good uh, for scaling up your front pet scorpion um, I you could do without scorpion I kind of like it put a mushroom on there you could break a melon pepper whatever and uh, kill a pet up in the front eagle good to get a good tier six uh, goat up there just so you can roll and uh, buy more pets and basically get that gold back and then scaling with the poodle and zebra and a uh, lion you could do without lion probably put a hamster up there and or some other thing that's going to help you win and then uh lionfish is good up there for just winning just taking away those melons lemons whatever it be and then tier five food uh i would recommend putting chocolate in that's uh obvious to try to get those tier threes and then once we get to the tier six, these are kind of the most important ones. That's using this alpaca and trying to get him to level two. Once you get him to level two, it's pretty much, you can just put whatever down, get two of them, and then you get a level three. And then just for kind of gold, if you already have a tier three up there, or a level three, I should say, throw the hammer shark up there, get some more gold and uh, pilling the tapir is like a good thing to do as well that can give you someone else that you already have on your team So you throw an alpaca up there you can pill him get another alpaca and then you're one step closer to getting those level threes 
tiger, uh, boosting the ability with the stego, octopus, snake, any of those, those are all good pairings. Stego is a good one to have up there just for tempo, keeping yourself alive and everything. And then cat, uh, pairing that with the cow or any other foods you have. And then just, uh, the foods I like to use is, uh, steak, mushroom, and melon. That kind of keeps you alive. But overall, yeah, you just, uh, it's a matter of learning and understanding what does what, and then uh, you can go from there and stuff. But yeah, it this game is very, very enjoyable. If you guys want to try uh, completing that, it is a grind like no other. You have to be playing quite a bit. I'd say it took me about three months, I'd say. And I there's some guys I watch out there that have helped me get better. If you just go on YouTube and you can just watch some gameplay, understand, and then they'll kind of help you get through it but that's all i had today i'll throw up some gameplay and everything and if you guys want to see that um i'll show my stats off a little bit so you can see that as well i played 2500 matches and basically only won 265 so i only have a 10 percent win rate so it uh you can do a little bit better uh, i say have fun with the game don't stress yourself out trying to get level three achievements have fun make custom packs that you're gonna have fun and enjoy the game don't burn yourself out but that's my trophies snacks most bet are bought pets uh, i got mosquito that's one of my favorite pets in the pack um and then swan gold keeping yourself up there T uh clownfish kind of helping scale your pets as well uh, crow, cow, alpaca, those are all kind of good for helping. And then there's just everything else, I'll show that off. My least bet bought pets. I don't say, don't use things that are just gonna do temporary stuff unless you are desperately need to win, other than that. But, all right, I'll just throw up some gameplay and everything, let you guys enjoy that, and I hope you guys enjoyed.